Hello everybody, it's Diane. As I imagine you read in the title and possibly the description, we're making slides today. We're making faux slides out of real slides. <laughs> What's the point of that? The point is they're more fun. If you happen to have old slides or come across old slides cheap, pick them up. Um, I saw this on YouTube years ago. I have no idea who did it. I'm sorry, I don't remember. I mean, a long time ago before I was making videos, I made these. And I forgot all about them. I just came across them the other day. So I painted the frames on some. And then you glue in a magazine picture uh, that happens to be an old greeting card image. I also stamped on these. And then I did put paper on the back to reinforce the picture. So they can be mini journal cards. They can be decorations in collages, art journals, journal pages, etc., etc. Uh, you can make them tucks in a journal. If you're going to just glue it down to a collage or something like that, you don't have to back it. Here's some that are not painted. I think that's very cool. It gives a very vintage look. But in my opinion, it is kind of dull. It's just, you know, this gray. So there, it's an example. And if you don't know, these are actually just mounts. They come apart. They can be a little tricky, a little tedious. I left one to do with you guys. You can start it with an X-Acto or something if you want. Be really careful with those. I don't. I just sort of get my nails in there and peel it. Um, you may lose one or two. <laughs> Generally, though, they're pretty forgiving if you're careful. There may be some better way to do this that I don't know about. But be really careful. Like this one, it's almost just like the paper is coming off. Yeah, it figures. I didn't have trouble with any of these. The one I left to do with you guys is not going to cooperate. <laughs> okay. What's in there is actually just a negative. Oh, come on. Yeah, this one... The other ones were not this hard. Okay. Come on. There we go. So see you have your negative image there. You can save that and do something clever with it too. Okay, so you wind up with two parts then because it's front and back. And I wish you luck peeling them apart. Okay, that's another good reason to uh, put some kind of backing on it because some of these end up being awfully thin. Like that. I'll probably peel that apart, but I mean that's just paper. Okay. So I'm going to paint these. I was going to get on and paint with you guys, but I'm just, you know, it's just co it's coloring. So I'm going to paint my frames. <laughs> um, I think I must say this all over look. Yeah, I didn't show you many of these, did I? No, that one's I don't like that one so much. It's a little too contrasty. That one just has a stamped border like these two. I think the all over text stuff is a little too much. I think I'm going to go a simpler route, possibly just like um more like this one. Just a couple little images stamped on maybe. This one's kind of pretty. That's a greeting card image. I kind of like the numbers. You know, you could get really involved and collage the frame, so to speak, or put on um, words. That would be nice, too. But anyway, as I was saying, I was going to get on and paint with you guys, but it's just, you know how to paint, right? You take a brush and you apply color. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to prep these and come back, and then we'll look for images. 
I know that sounds exciting too, doesn't it? Okay, go paint your slide mounts and we'll be back. Hang on. Okay, that was fun. And for once, she's not being sarcastic. I went very sloppy. You could be nice and neat. You don't have to paint them at all. You could probably use a marker, washi tape. If you wanted to get really into it, you could wrap paper around. Okay, so they're painted and I did a little rubber stamping. There's two I left plain. And I thought I'd give a little info, just in case you're rushing off to do this. You can still buy slide mounts, I checked. However, I did not double check. A lot of them nowadays are plastic. I don't know if you can tell this on camera. It's glaring a little. It's plastic, so it's not going to take paint. You could put washi tape on it. But if you are going to actually buy new ones, you have to find the paper type. Okay, and actually, I don't know why I have that. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. If you want to make your own, how hard is that? Use a file folder, poster board, heavier cardstock, that type of thing. The entire size is two by two inches. The whole thing, okay? The top and bottom, this part here is half an inch. The sides here is 5 sixteenths, just to make life difficult. The inner window is 7 eighths up and down, 1 and 5 sixteenths across. So you want to do a screen grab. If you're just doing this for fun or whatever, it doesn't have to be the same size. You can make a giant one, make a pop art slide, that'd be cool. You can make mini ones. If you want to be a super, super perfectionist, the inner frame is curved in the corners. That would be a pain in the brain, but it is. Okay, so now we're on the hunt, which I know that's not going to be too thrilling. I'll do a few with you guys. I don't know about this one. A cross stitch magazine. That's cute. Mm, pro yeah, probably not. Okay. Uh, C catalogs are sort of a no-fail. That's really easy, and that's what a lot of this stuff is, the old stuff. That's C catalog. I picked some older ADs. I've mentioned this once before. I don't know what it is. Mm, a little big. Um, nowadays, the ADs that I do get, they don't have the fussy knickknack stuff. So I guess it's not a trend in decorating. I wouldn't know. And yes, I do have fussy knickknack stuff that I have to dust all the time. So anyway, long story short, I thought maybe the older ones would have fussy knickknack stuff. That's not bad. Okay. And of course, you want to cut it larger than the opening or it's going to fall right through. I glued mine to the backs. Okay, and then like I said, I put paper. It was uh, it was heavy printer paper on the back. Uh, you could use uh, cardstock for that too. File folder, that type of thing. You can even have junk mail that's plain, you know, cut out white portions, that would work. Let it rain. I don't know about that. That's not pretty. Okay. And a as you see, I'm just doing this randomly. If you're trying to you know, do a theme journal or something, you may want to be more particular about what you pick. See, like the modern or 80s, they look more like this. You know, what am I going to take out of that? <laughs> For this project, anyway.
Okay. Oh, well, we're going to take the cent the centaur to, I'll use it for something else. Whoops. One at a time, please. Don't crowd. Kind of neat. And I don't think I'm done, though. Um... As you saw in some of these, I added like a magazine number. I might do that. I might take it a step further. If some of them look a little dull, I might add a flower or something. A knickknack that you have to dust. I did have a bird brochure, if you will. Hmm. It did cross my mind. I spared you guys this. Do I want this for my pot page in the glue book? Okay. Um of doing my old time movie stars. That would be kind of a cool book. I may do that on my own someday. Oh, that's pretty. Isn't that cool? That's cool too. Oh, I wouldn't mind dusting that room. <laughs> but see, to me, though, that looks like a hotel. It doesn't look like a home. I guess it's how you were raised, huh? If you're raised with knickknacks. Oh, there's a lion. Is that too little for my lions? Uh... And I don't find them too often. Maybe I'll try to make it work. I have lions in my big altered book. Get in there. That's nice. I don't think it goes with that, though. Maybe. Better. Okay. Barely fits. All right, let me grab that bird thing and then I'll go do these by myself. Here. Oh, there's a moth. Oh, it's a butterfly. Sorry. Looks like a moth. Too big. Are these going to be too big? Yeah. Actually, I have another bird book. Yeah, okay, this isn't doing much for them. I thought that would be a good one. If I can reach. Uh, I think that's too big, Diane. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's some owls. I started that owl page in the blue book. Hmm. You weren't supposed to be harvesting for a glue book session. Ooh, that's pretty. All right. Um... The birds and blooms. Here we could find a bird or a bloom. That's pretty. 
pretty. It's kind of busy. Yeah, I think that's a problem, for, in my opinion. Where were those couple? There were a few of these. They're fine. I'm not going to get rid of them. But when there's, um, like this. You have this busy subject, do, 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 and then this busy wordage, do, 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 do. It's, it's too much. I should probably knock down that text or something on that one. I might do that. You an ugly beetle. I know, that's a matter of opinion. Another beetle might think that's really cool. I don't know. No. Well, as pretty as all this is to look at, I don't think this is going to work either. All right, you guys, you get the idea anyway. Oh no, locust. Now oh, they're calling it a cicada. Oh no, they're coming. Yeah, I had a friend of mine say we've had a real mild winter and a warmer than usual you know february are the locusts going to come out early earlier than usual it's like Ooh, i didn't think of that <laughs> okay i'm going to put these all together uh probably finish them off you get the idea okay hang on okay i'm back they're finished i added a few words to some I added a couple more blotches of white paint to a couple because I thought they were a little dull and thought that would kind of brighten them up. That's uh, one of those Tim Holtz, those chit chats or whatever they call them. There's just so, well, it's white paint. White craft paint around the edge of that one. Added a number and a ILL for Illinois off some in old invoice. That's a word. I just printed out a bunch of words once upon a time for just such an occasion. That's one of those. That's one of those, too. I did back all of these. Oh, well, all right. Let me continue with that thought. So they're pretty substantial. And as far as these went, I had a couple that were really thin. So I would recommend that. Like I said, unless you're going to just glue it down to a project, then it's okay. I did do a couple black and white images, which I think is kind of nifty. I did a fine line black border around a few, which I think adds. Come here. This one I did just um, by hand. <laughs> Didn't use a ruler. Freehand, some people might say, just to be different. Otherwise, they're all with a ruler. I don't know. I think these are kind of fun. It's interesting, interesting to see what kind of pictures you end up with. Now, those are the two plain ones that I just left them. I didn't add anything to those frames at all okay pretty fun um i will say these you know have a very mixed media look you definitely could just paint them a solid color or leave them so keep that in mind if as i showed on this one if you think you're going to have a busy subject i would lean towards a single color type of thing this is probably all glaring over here, isn't it? Okay. Well, I probably will use these for like little journal cards. Or I might add one to a junk journal or something page. Cross my mind too, this plastic one. To adhere a picture to it is going to be a little tricky because it's so, you know, slick. Double-sided tape maybe, but I don't know. So I don't know about these. <laughs> Here's your measurements once again. If you missed it, you want to see it again. Okay. All right. Well, I think these are kind of fun. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you have a nice day out there.